I think it's gonna choose as well. If it came down to it. And if she wants you out, you will be out. You don't have to go see her. So the mom of Nyla was saying that she's already been in a relationship with herself with her mama's boy. And she's just letting her daughter know that when it comes to choosing whether he's going to be you or his mum, he's never going to choose you. And to be fair, that is fair advice. But we can only hope or Nyla can only hope that that won't be the case for herself and Shahid. Now Shahid's about to have a conversation with his mum regarding him moving out so he can live with Nyla. Let's see how that went. You don't have to go see her. <laughs> decisions money right now but if it was not for me putting a hold on Shahid's accounts from time to time he'd have no money saved up even with Nyla she's gonna expect you to pay for the whole apartment yourself maybe think about it your approval would mean the world to me what this is okay I absolutely do not approve imagine that imagine being a mama's boy and all you want is your mother's approval for you to go live with your girl the girl that you love, the girl that you want to be with, the girl that makes you happy. The girl that even tolerates you and your BS. And your mom still says no. <laughs> wow. It, it'd be a no-brainer to me who I would pick, whether it'd be my mom or the woman that I love. Yeah, I really, I need that approval. I need that approval. Like you I said, still I, haven't said, how are you guys splitting rent? Let's think about it. I don't really want to talk about it right now. I mean, to be fair, you know, is it is it crucial for his mom to know how his how her son's gonna split rent with Nyla? A part of me says no because it's none of her business, but then a part of me says yes because she does mention that she's had to control his money for him to make sure he doesn't go too crazy with it, and also on top of that, she just wants to make sure that he's not taken advantage of. So I can understand it on both sides of why it would be a good idea for his mom to know, but also why it, it is his own privacy. Let me know your thoughts on that one. But nonetheless, though, we move on to the next uh, mama's boy, Josh and his mother freaking Tina. Hey, stop in there, by the way. I was going to try out a few dresses, but I didn't want you to get mad. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was a big deal, so. <laughs> Josh didn't think it was a big deal that his mother goes into his wife's wardrobe and uh, pretty much picks her whatever she wants to wear. She wore clothes that were not hers as well as shoes that were not hers. Amazing. Yes, it doesn't have one. You too. <laughs> Tina now and loves to kind of look at me and Janelle's and like, oh, look at me. Like, I'm more important than you guys. Before. Honestly, I don't know how the sons can't see that being a problem with their mother. Their mother should never try and make their partners feel as if they are less than. Their, the mother's responsibility should always make sure that the women, that their wives feel welcomed into the family. Nothing else but that. And the mom wasn't joking. No way. She was being dead serious. But to make it worse, the gift that the Josh boy's mom, well, here's the story behind it. Tina's surprise birthday party. I showed Josh a picture. I was like, this is the bag I want. And he knew that. So, and it was the same exact bag that I wanted. I didn't. I didn't I was realize mad. that. I thought you helped him pick it out. Whatever you thought, Tina, isn't relevant to what he knew. He knew that that bag was a bag that his wife picked out for herself, that she wanted. And also, and also on top of that, last week's episode, he said that he wouldn't even bother getting that, that bag for his wife, even though she already said that she wasn't happy with the fact that he bought it for his mom instead of her, knowing that she's the one that picked it out. Honestly, this dynamic is so unhealthy, it's just, ugh. No, I didn't. And your shoes were comfortable, by the way. But when I got out of the truck last night, I stepped in the mud and I may have ruined your shoes. Oh, oh my God. And I ruined your wedding shoes. Janelle, how was I to know? It was a surprise. I had whether you whether you whether you were supposed to know those shoes were her wedding shoes or not, you wasn't meant to go into her closet, her wardrobe, and pick out outfits and shoes for yourself without asking for her permission in the first place. If you'd asked for permission, then you would have known. But you didn't ask, because you just do what you want to do, because your son lets you get away with it, because your son is just, ugh. No idea. And I almost didn't wear them, because when I was walking, the little beads that stuck on my dress are so good. So then I wore them, but I did not know they were your wedding shoes. Well, everybody's here and embarrasses me. Look, Josh is dying yeah. Looks... yeah, where did Josh go? Yeah. Oh, the shoe. Oh, the shoes. Sally. Oh, shoot. Right. It's a little bottle of shoe. No. Uh, look at the heel. Actually, now that I'm looking at there's rhinestones missing. You know what? Take your shoes upstairs. We're done with the shoes. 
You see that? The mum doesn't want to take, take, take full accountability. She mentioned that she made them do it, but she didn't mention anything about the fact that she was sorry or the fact that maybe she'd look to get them repaired or get them cleaned or something. Mum is just like, ah, I'm done with this conversation now, so you just get rid of them. I don't know who allows anyone to disrespect their wife. I don't care whether you're my mother, you're my father, you're my sister, you're my best friend. Nobody disrespects the person that I'm with. Point blank period. And the person that I'm with is not going to respect my mother, my father, my, 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 my siblings, my friends. The disrespect doesn't happen in any way. Everybody needs to be cordial. Point blank period. If people are being disrespectful, then I have to analyze who is the problem and who may need, may need to be removed from my life. Just saying. Going to Chase's bedroom sometimes, it's my peaceful spot and it just allows me to reflect on just warm, sweet memories. Ah, welcome to Chase. Chase is a new one for this week. Chase and his mother, who is Laurie, yes. And then his uh, girl, who's Tasha. So, it's very strange, isn't it, for the mum to say that her comfort place in the house is her son's room. That is weird. That is strange. That is just disturbing. But anyway, listen to what Tasha had to say. Tasha is his fiance. Hearing Chase comes Lori and that she's always going to be a big part of our lives, but I need her to know that at the end of the day that I'm going to have to come first. Uh -uh. The princess, but I'm the queen. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's going to be an interesting dynamic, isn't it? I mean, listen, this boy goes out with his mom all the time, okay? And uh, they'd be dancing together, they'd be doing all tough of kafafo that, you know, generally speaking, people do come up to them and say to them, hey, are you two together? And she, the mom's like, I don't know why people think that. Because you're doing things that, hello, but to, but to make it more interesting, the son has a fiance, but the mother also has a fiance too. So and they're both planning to get married. Now that is very, very interesting. I can't wait to, to meet this guy and to see his opinion on the relationship that the woman he's going to marry has with our own son, because really and truly, it is uncomfortable. Nonetheless, though, we're now here with the last couple, well, the last couple, <laughs> with the last son and mother, Kelly and Matt, who have been here since season one, from what I remember, from what I remember. Either way, though, in this scene here, you better see Kelly <clears throat> demonstrate to Matt how he should be kissing a girl to get her love. Even though the reason why he doesn't have a girlfriend is probably because Kelly's always getting involved in his relationships. Hmm. Oh, please don't. Ah, that's how you get a bride. And that's how you get a bride, folks. Imagine that. Your mom's trying to demonstrate to you how you should be kissing someone. Now, he, he, he so basically in the episode, he went on a few few little dates here and this um, speed dating little bar setup and whatnot. And none of the dates were successful because his mom was there for every single one. Pretty much it in a nutshell. Nothing else to really say on that one, to be honest with you. Nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts on the matter and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.